Okay, so now I'm doing blushes. These are my drugstore blushes, and then I have a drawer for higher-end blushes, and then I'm also gonna do face palettes after that, so that'll include blushes, bronzers, and highlights. I'm gonna try to do blushes and bronzers in this video as well. We'll just see how the editing goes and the length of the video. I'm sorry if you can hear some construction in the background. I'm gonna, hopefully it's not too loud, so. Hopefully you can't hear it. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start, um, what am I doing? I dumped everything out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with my Milani blushes. I'm going to be keeping all of these. I have four of the baked blushes. I have got the shades Delicioso Pink. I've got Bella Rosa. Dolce Pink, Dulce Pink, um, and then Coralina. I don't have the one that everyone always talks about, but these are so beautiful. Um, I can't even think of the name that everyone talks about. It's like a corally one, Luminoso or something, but these are so pretty. They're so glittery. Um, these two are, and then these two are matte. These blushes are absolutely stunning, so I'm keeping those four. I'm also keeping my four Milani rose blushes. I've got the shades Romantic Rose. That's like my favorite one. I've got this one which is Tea Rose. This one which is Blossom Time Rose. And then this one which is Coral Cove. So I'm keeping those four. Okay, um, I'm also keeping my Essence blush ups. I have the shades Heat Wave and Pinky Flow. These are so cool. They're like ombre blushes and they're super affordable. So I'm keeping both of those. Okay, let's get rid of one page. This is the Hard Candy Fox in a Block fox in a box in the shade skinny dipping and this is just like so old and I just need to get rid of it so I'm decluttering that um what else do I have here hmm I've got this blush from NYX this is so old this is in their old packaging as you can see this is in the shade peach which this is not a peach like at all <laughs> but I'm going to declutter that because it's really old and I don't make those anymore I am going to keep my elf blush palette this is in the shade light and it just looks like this I love the colors in here and they're great drugstore blushes I don't have a ton of blushes so um compared to like other things that I have so Let's move on. I'm gonna keep these two. My boyfriend bought me both of these. He um, picked this one out all by himself. I'd never even heard of this before. This is the Almay Smart Shade in pink. And then this is the Hard Candy Glow all the way in the shade Punch. This is so pretty. And then so is this. I love both of those. So keeping those, going to Keep this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Blush Grinder. This is in the shade Apricot or Apricot, and it's like one that you spin. I don't know if they make these still, but I love this, so I'm going to keep it for myself. <laughs> then we've got these two Miss Chick blushes, which are from Shop Miss A website. They were a dollar each, and these are nice, but I just don't reach for them. They are insanely pigmented like that is a blush like what the heck um so I'm gonna declutter those just because I just don't reach for them because they are so pigmented and I just have so many other blushes that I would rather reach for then we've got this Pacifica one I think this is a mini this is in the shade wild rose and this is so pretty and has a little unicorn on the packaging and I got this in an ipsy bag and I love it. I will be keeping that for sure. As well as these two. Um, this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Blush in Desert Rose. Which is like a super light corally color. Nudie corally color. And then this is the Dirty Little Secret Blush in the shade Kitty Pink. Which is another like, it looks like so washed out on camera. But it's a similar shade actually to this one right here. Then we've got this ColourPop blush in the shade Prenup 
And this, um, I'll keep that for now until it dries up. I need to start using that more. Then we've got this Guava Butter Seraphine Botanicals Creamy Lip and Cheek Stain. And this is in the shade Pure Guava. And this is so pretty. I love that. I'm going to keep that. Okay, so next we have the Hikari blush in Tango. This color is so pretty. It's such a bright pinky coral shade. The camera is washing it out. Let's see. Um, let me see if I can swatch it. It is a little bit powdery, but this blends so beautifully on the skin. So I'm definitely keeping that. Then I've got now down to these. So this is the Physician's Formula PH Matchmaker Blush. And oh, I don't know about this one. I've never used it. It is literally untouched. It comes with a little brush. And I don't know. Do I need this? Oh, man. This is so stressful. I... I think, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm decluttering this. Wow, I did not think that that was going to happen at all. Then we've got this Measurable Difference blush in the shade. I don't know if this has a shade actually, but this is a super pretty, like, kind of like reddish um, colored blush. And this is from TJ Maxx, and I love this blush so much. It's a baked blush, and it's so smooth and creamy, and it's actually, like, amazing. Normally, TJ Maxx makeup that is not, like, a big brand is not the best quality. But moving on, I've got this City Color Matte Blush, and hmm, do I keep that? I think I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to declutter this. And then we've got these two e.l.f. HD blushes in the shades Headliner and Superstar. Sorry, I'm like so zoomed in. And I'm going to... Let me make sure these are still good. So... Here are those two shades swatched. I have this lighter one here and then the darker one here. And I am going to keep those after so much pumping. I finally like got all the air out of there and I was able to um, get the product out. So yeah, let's go ahead and put everything back in the drawer. So this is the finished product of my drugstore blush drawer. I literally feel like there's like nothing in here anymore. I am decluttering a total of one, two, three, four, five, six blushes. So I'm going to declutter these, see if anyone wants them, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a home for them some way or another, but because those are all still good products, but yeah. Um, this is it. Now let's move on to my higher end blush drawer. So this is my next blush drawer. There, I call this my high end blush drawer, but there is like, like this essence one. Actually, I can probably fit this in my other one now that there's room, but you know, there might be a f like one or two products in here that are not considered like higher end. But yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so here are all of my higher end blushes. So let's just get started. I'm just going to get these out of the way. These are the Kat Von D Shade and Light blushes. I have quite a few of these. Um, okay, I have six different shades. So, woo, lost one. This one right here is called Hansel and Gretel. Um, I'm keeping all of these, by the way. <laughs> this one right here is called Bonnie and Clyde. That's like a super pretty, like, purpley toned one. This one right here is called Sid and Nancy. This one is called Pit... Wait. P... 
Piat and Poe. Piff and Poe? Not really sure. Um, that's that one. Then this one we've got right here is Mickey and Mallory. And then this last one is Morticia and Gomez. So I'm keeping all six of those. I got these at TJ Maxx and I absolutely love them. They are all matte, like two-sided blushes and they're all fabulous. Then we've got this Essence How to Make Your Face Wow um, makeup box. And this is so cool. This is actually considered a face palette. I guess this has two blushes and I guess a highlighter and a bronzer. But this might be kind of like highlighty. But yep, I absolutely love this thing. It's so cute. I love the packaging. And I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to put it in my other blush drawer. Okay. I don't know if how much I'm getting rid of this, if any, honestly. Um, okay. Uh, the, these Urban Decay blushes I'm keeping. I have three. I have the shades Quickie, which is the color of the sticker on the back. I have Crush and I have Bittersweet. This one is so cool. This is like legit purple. I love that shade. And I love all of these actually. You can tell that they're all quite used. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can tell in person for sure. Then, okay, this is the Cabana Boy Blush by The Bomb. And this is just a little sample and I'm actually going to declutter this just because it's so small and like, I'm just not going to use this, so I'm actually going to declutter that. Woohoo, I got rid of one. <laughs> then we've got some NARS minis. I have the shades Super Orgasm and Ghoul, I guess is how you say that. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on it, but there's that shade. And then, oh, come on, this one. So pretty. So I'm keeping both of those. I'm also keeping my three mini Too Faced blushes. These are the, uh, what are they called, Sweetheart? Love Flush blushes. I have Crazy in Love, Dream Lover, and Baby Love. So I'm keeping those three. Um, I'm keeping my Clinique Cheap Cheek Pop in the shade Plum Pop. This is so pretty. I love this formula. I really wanna get some more blushes um, from this line. It's absolutely amazing. I've got a Bare Minerals, but I actually have two. I have this pressed one, which is like a super light, cool toned pink, and that's in the shade The Awakening. And then this is the blush in Golden Gate. I don't know if this is open. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna keep both of those. Um. I'm also keeping this Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. This is a bronzer, highlighting, and blush duo. This is in the shade Native. I love this thing. It's great for traveling. Uh, I'm going to keep the Stila Blush in Strawberry Cream Pop. This is like a bronzer, bronzer and blush duo. This is so cute. I love the packaging. I got this from TJ Maxx. Or Marshalls, actually. I'm also keeping this Too Faced Blush in the shade something about berry this is so pretty and i've used this so much there's like a huge like divot in there so keeping that i'm also keeping all of my tart blushes um i have two minis i have the shade blissful which looks like this it's a nice matte corally color and then i have splendor which is a shimmery corally shade I have Exposed, which is a very popular color. Um, I got this recently, actually. And then this one is in the shade Glisten, which is another shimmery, corally shade. So keeping all four of those. Let's see here. Um, I have two cream blushes. Um, I have this Butter London one in the shade Piccadilly Circus. And then I have this Bare Minerals one in the shade Papaya Passion. And I'm actually going to keep both of these. The This is so pigmented. Like, let me just show you. Holy crap. And then this one is a lot more sheer, but it's still so beautiful. So I'm keeping both of these. <laughs> then I am actually going to declutter this Stila one. 
This is in the shade, this is the custom color blush in self-adjusting pink. And I got this from Marshalls and I did love this for quite some time, but I just don't need it right now. It's such a bright color and I have too many blushes to be worrying about using this. So I'm going to declutter that. And I think I'm going to keep these three. I've got the Laura Geller, uh, what is this, Baked Heart Blush and Highlighter in Pink Valentine. I absolutely love this. The only thing that annoys me is that the heart is, like, tilted a little bit. Like, it's not perfectly centered. It's not a big deal. This is absolutely beautiful. I've got this blush. This is a MAC blush. This is from one of the, um, like, limited edition collections. It's the Proenza. I'm whatever something um this is in the shade blush ombre in ocean city so i'm keeping that and then this is so old honestly this is when the color of the year was like coral i guess this is the sephora and pantone universe blush duo in desert flower and coral <sighs> these are so pretty though like let me just show you like look at that those are so pretty. I have to keep this. Okay, I'm keeping it. I can't not. Okay. Now, I so I only got rid of these two blushes, but let's go ahead and put everything back in the drawer and see where we stand. Okay, so this is the finished blush drawer. I know that this is like not in the most efficient way to store because I have these six laying flat, but if I stand them up, they're too tall to fit back in the drawer system. So I have to lay them down and I'd rather see them all than like stack them like three on top of each other. So this is just how I'm storing them. I have the room, so I might as well use it. So that is the finished blush drawer. Like I said, I only decluttered these two blushes, but that makes a total of eight blushes decluttered. Let me go ahead and show you. Whoops. So this is everything that I am decluttering. I know it's kind of like awkward for me to show you, but let's move on to, what are we moving on to? Bronzers, bronzers. Okay, so here's my bronzer drawer. Um, I don't have a ton of bronzers, but I do feel like I need to get rid of some of these, so I am going to clutter. I'm going to go ahead and keep these Too Faced. These are like the Soulmates blush and bronzer duos. I have the Carrie and Big one, which looks like this. And then the Ross and Rachel one, which looks like this. I love these, and they were limited edition, like kind of like collector's items. So I'm keeping both of those. What else do I have here? I'm keeping my Too Faced Leopard, Pink Leopard bronzer. And this is the blushing bronzer. And this is what it looks like. I love this so much. My boyfriend bought this for me a few years ago, and I love it. Then we've got, this is the Clean Color Tanned Roar Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bali Matte. Um, this is what it looks like. I did use a lot of it, but it just, it, this is from the Shop Miss A website. It, it's good for a dollar, but I just, I have too many good bronzers to be using that, and I'd rather be using these, so I'm going to declutter that. I am also going to declutter these two e.l.f. These are clarifying pressed powders. I don't know if they still make these. These are in the shades light beige. And at a time, this was too tan for me that it was like a bronzer. But I just don't like want to use these anymore. I just, they don't interest me. So I'm going to declutter both of those. I am going to keep my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the medium deep one, and this is just a sample, but I have not used this particular one, but I've used this product in the past. I also have the, um, I don't know if this is the same exact shade. It looks kind of different. Um, this one looks lighter, actually, but I'm keeping both of these Chocolate Soleil bronzers. 
Then we've got the Betty Luminizer, and this is like so old, but I love this so much. This is by The Balm. It's like so shimmery. Sorry if you see like pink from my blush swatches, but this is so beautiful. The only thing is the like pan like fell out, but I love this. I'm keeping it. Then we've got this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Bronzer, and I'm going to be keeping both of these. I bought this one at Marshall's, and I got this one in a Sephora Play Box. I'm keeping the NYX Blush in the shade Taupe. Everyone uses this as a contour shade, um, so I'm keeping that. Then we've got these two products that I'm keeping. This is the Bourjois Bronzing Powder, and this is... Uh, 52 is the shade, I guess. I got this when I was in uh, Poland. It might have been the um, uh, London airport, but I think I got this when I was in Poland. But it has this like hard pan on it, which makes me so sad. But I'm keeping this because um, I got it in Poland and it's like sentimental. And then this is an e.l.f. bronzer blush duo in bronzed violet that I have not used yet. This is like shiny packaging with like the blue wording on there and this is like the aqua one I think is what it's is that what it's called I don't know I can't remember but these look so like wet almost it's like kind of a weird consistency I haven't used them yet and I might use this in a first impressions so I am going to keep that I've got two NARS Laguna samples and I'm going to be keeping both of these um, I'm keeping this Pixie by Petra Bronzer in the shade Summertime. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and I think it's a really nice color. I am also keeping this little Tarte uh, Park Avenue. Is this No, the Sculptor in Park Avenue Princess. This is a little contour stick and a brush that comes with it, so I'm keeping that. Uh, I'm going to declutter this. Beauty Basics. I I think this is eyeshadow, but I just never used this as eyeshadow. I didn't even use it as a bronzer. I swatched it and I thought it look, would look okay as a bronzer, but I'm just going to declutter this. I got it in an Ipsy bag, but I'm not, I haven't used it yet and I'm probably not going to use it. We've got the Laura Mercier bronzer in the shade Bronze 03 and I will be keeping this. I'm also keeping this huge Stila Set in Bronze Baked Powder Trio. This is like one of those things that you twist, like uh, like the grinding thing that you twist and product comes up. This is so pretty. I'm keeping that. I think I got that at Nordstrom Rack, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, these are, this is the Ciate Bronzer in the shade bamboo bronzer and I'm going to be keeping this. I have not used this yet but it's super cute and super pretty and I want to try more from Ciate. And then this is the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics Caribbean Sun Bronzer Duo and this is like really pretty. I'm like I'm more into the blush than I am the bronzer. Oh, okay I'm going to keep this. Am I going to keep this? Oh I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, that kills me. Just the size of it is just so small. Like, I can't fit my bronzer brush or my blush brush in there. So I'm going to declutter it. Oh, that's in the shade Aruba. It's so pretty, though. Makes me sad. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Duo in Bronzed Glow. I'm going to keep this. I got this from Influencer, and I absolutely love that. It wasn't as good when I initially thought. I thought this was going to be, like, incredible. And I didn't, like, I thought it was, like, good at first. But, like, oh, I love it now. So I'm keeping that. I have this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, which everyone used to talk about on YouTube. And I still have a lot of this. I probably have gone through, like, three of these in my makeup lifetime. And I have a backup. But I don't need a backup. So I'm going to declutter this one. This is in Sunny. Um, I'm going to declutter my backup because it hasn't been used yet. And then I'm going to keep the one that is opened. Then I've got these two products. This is the, this one's limited edition. This is by Wet n Wild. It was like their highlight 
blush and bronzer trio thing in Fair Coffee Trade. This is so pretty. It actually is like a dupe for the Urban Decay one, the Naked Flushed one that I showed earlier in this video, but I love this. I'm going to keep it. And then this is the Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm, and I'm just going to declutter this because it's so small. I do want to try this product, but I just... It's just too inconvenient, so I'm going to declutter that. So this is all of, these are, sorry, <laughs> all of the bronzers that I am decluttering. And then I'm going to put the ones that I'm keeping back in the drawer. So this is the finished drawer. I hope you all enjoyed this section of the video. And now I'm going to move on to highlighters. This next part is going to be a struggle for me. Okay, so here are my highlighters. Now this is gonna be tough because I'm not gonna wanna get rid of any of these, but I'm gonna have to. So let's just get right into it and rip the Band-Aid off. Oh man, here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull, whoops, pull out my Jeffree Star highlighters because I'm keeping all four of these. I have this one, which is in the shade King Tut. This is from his regular line, and I love this thing so much. It is a little bit dark for me, but I'm able to mix it with other things and use this as an eyeshadow, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm keeping that. Um, also, this is the Manny MUA collab in Eclipse. I did not get the Uranus one. I wish I did, but this is the, like, from the first launch. So as you can see, it's, like, the older logo. But I love that. I also have the two Skin Frosts from the Summer Chrome Summer... The Chrome Collection, the 2017 Summer one. This is Summer Snow Cone. And then this one is Crystal Ball. So, must, those are a must keep. Then we've got these two Wet n Wild highlighters. These are the new ones. These are in the shades Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy. I'm keeping both of those. I actually heard about those from a Jeffree Star video. I'm a big Jeffree Star fan, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> then we've got my Becca highlighters, which I'm keeping all of them. Um, I think I have one more little one somewhere. Maybe not. So I've got Champagne Pop. Whoops, wrong way. Champagne Pop, which is beautiful. I've got Opal, which is, again, beautiful. And then this one is the Prismatic Amethyst, which is like the purpley kind of one, which, again, is beautiful. And then this is a mini of rose gold, and I think this is actually broken. Yeah, how sad is that? I'm keeping this, though, because it is so pretty. Um, I've tried to repress this, but I don't know. I just have to be careful with it, but oh, it's just so beautiful. So, gotta keep that. I'm also keeping my Moonplay Cosmetics Stroboscope uh, Powder in the shade Vow. Let's see if this will focus. I uh, This is from Moonplay Cosmetics. I um, actually heard about this from Samantha Sherman. Uh, she actually named this shade, and it is so beautiful. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I'll have her channel linked in the description box. She's amazing. I love this product. I love her. I de definitely recommend you checking out her videos. Okay, I am keeping these two Hourglass products. This is the uh, Ambient Lighting Palette. Like, this is the first one. I'm not sure if there are other ones now, but I, I bought this with my own money like way back when and I love it and then this is dim light this is a mini and I'm keeping that as well so got, gotta love my highlights this is like something that I do spend a lot of money on okay now what let's get rid of one okay I can get rid of this one this is the Elizabeth Mott show me your glow this is like such a small little sample that I'm just gonna declutter this I don't want to fall in love with a new highlighter I'm keeping this Laura Mercier one in the shade highlight zero one so pretty I am also keeping this Urban Decay naked illuminated 
um, shade. This is in Luminous. And this is more of a body highlight. As you can see, it's like a glitter bomb. So I use this for body and it's beautiful. Then we've got the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Supernova. This is not holographic, but it is pretty, so I'm keeping that. I'm also keeping these two. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. This is so beautiful. And then this is the Too Faced Love Light in Blinded by the Light. How pretty. Keeping those. Um, let's see. Now is the tough part because I got rid of all of my like favorite ones. This is the, not all of them, I, some of these are still my favorites, but anyways. This is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way Cream Body, Face and Body, Illum Face and Body Illuminizer in Doll Face. I'm keeping this. I love this product. This is the Bare Minerals Golden Gate Radiance Highlighter and this is so pretty. I'm not sure if you can really tell in the package, but it has these beautiful gold glitters in there. So I'm keeping that. I'm also keeping these Wet n Wild products. This is the Fergie highlighter in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. This is absolutely amazing. I'm keeping this Mega Glow and Illuminating Palette. Um, I have not used this on my face yet. I have swatched it and there was like an overspray, but I want to try this on my face and see how it actually works. So I'm keeping that for now, but that this is a possible declutter. This is in the shade Catwalk. And then this is the Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I used to love this. And I just recently bought this because I was like, oh my gosh, like I remembered this. I've used two of these completely, the whole pan. And this is a big product, like... Oh, so I just bought this the other day and oh, it brings back so many memories. So I'm definitely keeping that. I've got my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial and I'm keeping that. I am, what am I doing? I'm keeping this City Color Timeless Beauty palette. This is so pretty. This is, I've got some really unique shades in here. These are pretty eyeshadows too. This is the highlight and bronzer powder palette. So keeping that. Oh man, I've got some creamies. Creamies, what? Okay, um, I'm keeping all three of these. This is the City Color Glowing Complexion Illuminating Cream. This is so pretty. My only complaint is that it smells like baby powder. Like... It smells so strong of baby powder, but look at how blinding that is. So that's a definite keep. This is the Butter London, what is this called? This is the Cheeky Tinted Highlighter in the shade Dishy, D-I-S-H-Y. And that is so pretty. That's a lot pinkier than the City Color one. And then I've got the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Hefty Highlights. And again, that is like absolutely blinding. So keeping all three of those. This one, I knew I was not going to do good on this, uh, <laughs> this little section, this drawer, this category. Okay, I can declutter this Stila uh, Kitten All Over Shimmer Duo. This is really pretty, but... I just don't need it, so I'm going to declutter this. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is the Baked Blush in Pink-tastic, but I use this as a highlighter, and this is so pretty. Let me show you a swatch. Like, oh, it's right there. That is beautiful. Gotta keep that. Got to keep that. This is the Josie Marin. Whoops. What is this called? Argan and Enlightenment Illuminizer in the shade. I don't think this has a shade actually. Oh wait, nope, it doesn't have a shade that I know of, but this is so pretty and I'm keeping it. I'm also keeping this liquidy kind of product. This is the Hard Candy Look Pro Illuminate and Strobing Mix and Drops in the shade White Pearl. I love that. I actually found out about that from Tati. I don't remember if she liked it or not, but I bought it because of her video, so. 
This is the Pure Radiance Highlighter, which is absolutely stunning by Bare, Bare Minerals. Keeping that. I've got these two Benefit products. This is Sunbeam. Um, and then I've got High Beam. I think I'm going to declutter both of these. Not because I don't like Benefit products, just because... These are so old, so I just need to declutter these. I I love them, but I just they're old, so I just need to get rid of them. Then we've got this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Year, and I'm going to keep this. This is so pretty. Like, I love that glittery swirl. And then I'm keeping these two Watts Up Mini Products by Benefit. These are so pretty. I'm Ooh, do I want to keep this? Eh, this is more of a blush. Um, I think I'm going to put this in my blush drawer. This is in Bellissim Bellissima. Um, this is the Dirty Little Secret Baked Highlighter. I I'm going to put this in my blush drawer. And then this is the Luna by Luna highlighter in the shade Calypso. Um... That is beautiful. I have to keep that. So I'm keeping both of these, but I'm moving this to my blush drawer and this um, I'm keeping in this drawer. Okay, then this is the NYC. This is an eyeshadow. Act okay, sorry my camera cut off, but this is the NYC. This is actually an eyeshadow and it is in the shade Basic Instinct. This is so pretty. I use this as a highlighter. Like, oh, it's so pretty, but I'm going to declutter this because... I have so many highlighters, um, but that is absolutely beautiful. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I love that, but I just, I have too many. Then, this is so old. This is by Lush. This is called Feeling Younger, and this is, like, so pretty. I just need to buy a new one, um, so I'm going to keep it to remind myself to buy a new one, but do you see that on the back of my hand? That is a shine. So, I'm keeping this so that I buy a new one, and yeah. Then we've got two more products. This is the Tristique Mini Highlight Stick, and um, that's it right there. Um, this is really pretty, but I think I'm going to declutter this. I just don't need it. This is in the shade, does this have a shade? Um, Maldives Luminescent. I'm not sure if that's the shade, but I am decluttering this, which makes me sad, but I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I've got one more product. This is the Physicians Formula Blondes Powder Palette. This is a multicolored custom bronzer, it says, but this... Is it a bronzer? Um... No, that's a highlight shade. I am going to keep that. Okay, so this is all that I decluttered <laughs> from that drawer. I know it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and put everything back in the highlight drawer. Okay, so this is my finished highlighting drawer. I I do have my Jeffree Star ones, which I keep in a separate place, so I don't, I keep them on top of my desk, I don't keep them in here, but this is everything that I'm keeping as far as highlighters go, and next we have my face palettes, so I don't know how I'm going to fit blush, bronzer, highlight, and face palettes all in the same video, but I'm going to try, so let's just keep going. So this is the basket that I keep my face palettes in. I I have a lot, but and I don't know how many I'm getting rid of, if I'm getting rid of any, but I'm, I'm going to go through them anyways, so I'm actually just going to pull them out of the basket as I go. So let's get started. The first item is this Tarte Blush Palette. This is the Bring It On palette and this was a holiday palette a few years ago. I'm keeping this. I love this so much. I use this all the time. Absolutely beautiful. I've got a couple of Becca palettes. These are the Becca Jaclyn Hill palettes. This is the um, one, I don't remember what this one was specifically called, but this has the two highlighters, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, and then the blushy kind of shades so i'm keeping that i'm also keeping this one this was another holiday palette this was the first one i think and this has 
pearl champagne pop and blushed copper right here so keeping that I'm also keeping these Tarte palettes. This is the Cream Blush Palette. I have not used this yet. This is the one that has this on the front. It's called the Kiss and Blush Cream Cheek and Lip Palette. I'm also keeping this Tartist Contour Palette. This is volume three. I love this shade right here. I use this almost every day. It's so, it's like such a perfect shade for me. And this blush is pretty, same with these highlights. It's just, uh, I love this palette. It was on sale um, at Sephora last time I saw, so hopefully it's still on sale. I recommend you go check it out. Okay, I'm keeping all of my Anastasia glow kits. I've got the Moon Child one, Gleam, That Glow, Sun Dipped, and the Ultimate Glow Kit. A lot of people don't like this, but I think it's a really good palette, so... Love that. Love all of those. I love Anastasia highlighters. So keeping all of those. I'm also keeping the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. This is a really nice palette too. They all look kind of white, but they're like all like different, like purple. This one's greenish. This one's purplish. That one's like pinkish. They are kind of powdery, but they're really nice and unique. <laughs> this is not going too good. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting Blush Wardrobe. I'm keeping this. I love this thing to death. Um, I'm also keeping the Too Faced Peach Glow, Sweet Peach Glow little palette. I love this blush and this highlighter. And I love this too. I don't really know what I use it for. Highlighter, I guess. Um, but, oh wait, that is the highlighter. I meant this. This is kind of like a bronzer-ish. Um, but yeah, it is still has like a nice satiny sheen to it. Then we've got the Too Faced No Filter Selfie Palette. I've not used this yet, so I'm keeping that. I'm also keeping this Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot Palette. This is like from a few Christmases ago. It has Dandelion, Bella Bomba, Sugar Bomb, Hula, Coralista, and Rockator, and then a Watts Up and a little like container right there along with a br brush so keeping that uh okay I'm getting rid of this this I am decluttering this is by Ellen Tracy I got this at Marshall's because I fell in love with the packaging um but this it might, might have been TJ Maxx actually I don't remember but this has a um, little spongy thing on top along with a mirror and then we've got this is just like a white like powder like I don't know what that's for this is the blush it's just so like bad and then there's a few like bronzery shades and I this is just like not good quality so I got suckered in wow I can't open this last one come on I got suckered in by the packaging, but the product is not good at all, so decluttering that. That might be the only thing. This is the 10 color glamorous, glamorous blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm keeping this. I actually really like BH Cosmetics. I really want to try more. I know Shanixo just announced her um, remix of the her palette, so I'm definitely going to pick that up when it comes out. This is the Sephora Ombre Obsession Blush Palette. My boyfriend bought me this for Christmas last year, and it is such a good palette. It is really big and bulky, but I love the variety in here, and this highlight is beautiful, so I'm keeping that. And then I'm also keeping this, like, magnetic palette. I, this is just sitting in here. This is a blush from Ofra, I think. It doesn't... I got it in an Ipsy bag. It doesn't have... um like a shade name or anything and I don't remember what the shade was but I have used this and it's really pretty and then this is a NARS like duo that I depotted because the packaging was horrendous so that's all that's in there I'm keeping that and let's go ahead and organize everything back into here Okay, so this is what my basket looks like. This I am going to put on top of my vanity in one of my little acrylic organizers. So that's leaving this little basket. And then also 
this Ellen Tracy thing is the only thing that I'm decluttering from this. So yeah, that one wasn't the most successful, but it's okay. Something is better than nothing. Okay, so this is everything that I am decluttering from my blush, bronzers, highlighters, and face palettes. I hope you all enjoyed this section of the declutter. Next, I will be decluttering powders, concealers, um, foundations, primers, uh, things like that, color correctors. So that'll be next, but... <sighs> this is such a stressful process, but it's an amazing one, so I'm glad you all are joining me on it. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!